Welcome back. Fishing Planet Friday with M Dog. That's me. And you're you. And we're here and we're going to look at Fishing Planet again. So, based on what we uh, left off doing last time, I think we were going to try pet food to see if that happens to catch whatever the buffalo is or whatever we still need for this last mission. We're going to try that briefly, and then we're moving on to check. That's the game plan for today's episode. Um, how much cash do we have? 4,000. How much are the match rods? 1,900. I think I'm going to do it. I can hear some of you saying, no, don't do it. I'm doing it. All right. So let's go to inventory. And, uh, oh, we probably need a match float. Where are the floats? All right, here are the floats. So this, are, this is where they are. Bobbers? I guess I was thinking that different floats would work on the, on the, um, match ride but we'll see all right so we're going omni float right match rod yeah omni float this goes up to three this goes up to 1.5 that should be fine for what we're doing here 1.4 again that's fine i don't care it's fine we're doing size two hook we're going to try dough balls on this one. So we should be able to cast this farther because it's match, right? All right, so we've got that. We've got the pet food because on our feeder rod. Oh, this is what I want. I want a sinker. 20 should be enough because that's actually one thing that I noticed last time that I don't think we're helping ourselves by putting that one thing in the water okay so we've got in our backpack we have dough balls and pet food grasshoppers bread and red worms i think we're good we've got two four eight what else would we possibly need i think we're good let's go fishing let's go fishing so we want to be at 8 a.m and uh we want to be over here. Okay. So we still have the marker. That's one thing I didn't remember to take the marker down, which I guess is good in the sense that we're about to try something else here. All right, we want to put it down like right here. Our one rod stand. And we want to move time. I think, if I remember correctly, it's 8 a.m. We at least need it to be at 8 a.m. And this one is set up like we want it. then shift one to put that down and then we want to get out this I guess I need to actually find that um, that guide we were using it was uh, by the way I did go back on the video and yeah here it is it's on steam steam community um, all right you're saying aim just right there okay 150 to 175. I kind of want to try 175. Did I remember to put pet food on? Nope. All right, that's okay. We'll do it next time. Oh, look how far we can cast. This is great. We'll see if this works. 
Yes, beautiful. All right, now we just gotta catch one. This is to finish Lone Star Exploration 2. Yeah, I was right, it's 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Best chance to catch one of these. Uh-oh. Got a little nibble. So the difference was, if you weren't here last episode, the difference here is that this match rod, that's the whole reason why we spent $1,900 on the match rod. It allows us to cast it that far, maybe even farther. I mean, we probably can cast a little farther than that. But with the starter telefloat rod, we could not get it that far. So if you really need to be in this deeper area, just past those, uh, whatever those are, not lilies, but whatever they are, then you need the match rod to get there. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that fish is on. All right, so what we want to do is we want to actually try pet food on this one. So if we hold down Z, let's scroll to pet food. Okay. Uh, we almost need to recast the float, but we'll give it another minute here. Ooh, look at that. That's weird. Let me see if I can fix this. Yeah, that is not the best, is it? Sorry about messing up my uh, camera here. I will fix it in just a second. Or try to. I think this is it, folks. Never mind. Is that better? Or worse. All right, that's better, but it also is getting a little blurry now. Ish. There might not be a good way to. It's like I think this shirt I'm wearing is just too dark to get it perfect. So, but I think that's fine. Hey, at least we got a trophy. Um, ooh, lucky bobber number two. I like it. Not a real bite, is it? All right. I was going to try something here. What if we come sit over here? We'll see how often that proves to not be a good spot, but for now we'll try it. All right, so pet, pet food so far, very slow. I don't remember what it was that made me think pet food was, pet food was even possible. It's not on this initial guide. It's not even listed as a, as a good option, but I think somewhere else we were looking last episode, I might've 
seeing that pet, fo pet food was an option. Mainly maybe for catfish, but I guess I was trying to just try it for the buffalo. Well, we keep getting nibbles, but... We need more than nibbles. Yeah, so this is the one that says peas, dough balls, pet food. Let me make sure that I'm looking at the right smallmouth buffaloes, number 20, peas, dough balls, pet food. And they also recommend a larger hook. So actually, I think I'm going to try that. Go get us a larger hook. All right. Okay, so this one of these could be it. One of these probably is it. All right, if this doesn't... I'm going to, I really think this is it. So I'm going to stay with this fish, even though that means really good chance that the one on the feeder gets off. FP not quite as forgiving as RF4 on how long a auto hook feeder rod will keep a fish on there, but we'll see. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I didn't think about this. We're using pretty small line and everything on this, but I think we're gonna get it in though. All right. I can kind of see the shadow of the fish there in the water. Yeah. Doesn't that look like a buffalo? Well, whatever that is, is at the surface of the water. I'd love to be able to catch both just to see what the other one is, but because that's the first fish on pet food we've caught, whatever it is. Uh-oh, the bell stopped. See, we could probably pull that one right in. I just don't know if I want to risk this, this one getting off. There is that thing. I don't know if it's still the case. It used to be the case. Somewhere in my mind, I, I remember that maybe they eventually did change this, at least change it a little bit. But it definitely used to be the case that, like, there were some fish on certain equipment, like in Fishing Planet. There's this threshold where you just would not ever be able to get it in. Like, it doesn't get that tired. I don't think that's what this will end up being, but at least back in the day, that used to be the case. Like, you would just never be able to get it in. I just, I really think this is a buffalo, so I'm trying to ignore the fact that we have another fish on and really hope that we can get this in. I mean, we've got it at 10, 11 meters. There's an argument to be made a good argument. <laughs> Don't try to do these quests. Like, come back and do the quests once you're well over-leveled for the map. Because probably you'll have str a little bit stronger equipment and everything will just be a lot less uh, friction keeping you from getting it accomplished. 
I don't know that what we're doing right now, trying to get both of these, maybe the first exploration quest was worth doing because that was all smaller manageable fish, but to come out here and catch something like this on this tiny size equipment, maybe not the smartest play. So if you notice, and again, I'm not saying that this is the scenario I was telling before, but we keep getting it down to about 10 to 12 meters, and then it keeps going back out really far. So I'm gonna put it full, full bore here, all of the weight of the equipment, and just see if we can pull it in. It looks like it's gonna work. Maybe? Okay, I should have done that sooner. That's my fault. Okay, smallmouth buffalo. We definitely wanna keep that. All right. Cool. That gave us the braid. We'll take it. Why can't I pick it up? All right. Oh my goodness. Is there something that's just not set up right about this rod? Oh, the leader is so small. That's what's not set up. Everything is like pretty strong, except for the leader is a little, un it's very undersized. We need to get a bigger leader if we can. I don't know if we can yet. Okay, so let's go back to missions. I'm just curious, is there anything else? At least in terms of missions that we've unlocked, we have finished the uh, exploration. Trophy Bluegill, Trophy, Trophy Oscar and Warm Mouth. Okay, so it's time to leave. I love it. Time to go explore. Check. Definitely excited about this. Let's look at that. Um, all right, let's go, we need to do a little bit of prep here. Let's look at the mission. All right, so we are trying to catch a perch. All right, so first of all, let's look at perch. That's probably the one that's the most um, different, right? Uh, perch, we want nano spinners or spoons. Red worms and blood worms also possible. Yeah, that's familiar to, um, that's familiar to RF4. Um, all right, let's see what these number two or number one nano spinners or spoons. Not narrow, but nano. Oh, here it is. So number two. Golden black trout, yellow tiger bug, yellow perch. If we're trying to catch a perch, do we get the one that says perch? Probably, right? Oops. Oh, there's a barbless narrow spoon. These are all special currencies. All special currencies. Okay, we're not gonna do grubs. Those are cool. I don't remember those spinners, but. All right, so we're gonna try the yellow perch nano spinner backpack. Okay, so in place of this,
All right. And then, ooh, it's too light. Um, I don't know that there's anything we can do about that because we cannot put weights on it, right? Of any sort. Um, I'm not going to like what we can do about that. All right, does that change our opinion here? Do we actually want to go? Do we actually want to go float for the for the perch? Because we could catch them on red worms. But it looks like. Let's see. Nano spinners. Spoons number four to number one. Is that what it means? Like number four to number one. Like, should we just try one of these? Wait, that's a nine gram. This one's five grams. A smaller one, probably. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to the missions. We'll put that on hold for now. Um, we're trying to catch a silver bream. So silver bream is going to be 16. Semolina, bloodworm, redworm. Again, redworm shows up. We don't have new baits, right? Okay, so bread with honey and crickets, but we have it doesn't say how many we have in our thing we have 12 we could get more red worms we'll see and then the final two are prussian carp and common roach so prussian carp is actually something we can trophy here uh size four hook maggots red worms so again red worms and then common roach is the other thing we can trophy maggots dough balls i think dough balls right we can't get maggots yet we do have dough balls so it looks like it's dough balls okay perch perch is the one right but maybe we just try it on red worms all right, four hook, but then silver bream, we're really wanting a smaller hook. We might catch it on four, but we're better off having smaller. What size hooks do we have? I think an eight will be fine. 10 might even be better, but I think an eight will be fine. All right, so I think we're good. So we're starting off with, actually, let's go four first and try to get See red worms and dough balls, both four hooks. Morning is both good. Okay, yeah, let's just try that. All right, I think we're good. Uh, we need to get our license. Three hundred for the license. So we spent three hundred and then a hundred and twenty. So four twenty just to get here. So the license lasts for twenty four in real life hours, but you know the 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 stop the, we don't want to just kind of like have to leave too much unless we've caught a few fish just to kind of keep making money but all right so let me see if there's any um my memory of this place is that maybe there aren't like specific spots necessarily all right so that's on that side Let's say we want to get, are we tracking by the way? Yeah, we are. So let's say we want to get the Prussian carp. Uh, where 
is it? There it is. Prussian carp. Is there a small body of water? What is this little thing here? All right, so on the one side, it almost looks like there's another body of water. Let's just go fish. And I, I don't know. That must just be... Ooh, look where we are. All right, so we're here. Yeah, it's this right here. Oh, I didn't remove that marker thing. So frustrating. Okay, no, it's just... <laughs> It's just this little place. Um, all right, I have got to be better at uh, remembering to remove it. So we just want to sort of aim right in the middle of that so that we can at least get it close, right? Because this is a spot we want to fish in. And we're starting with, ooh, did not get, um, did not get different baits, did I? Uh, I mean, did not buy more red worms. They might sell them in the store here though. Do we wanna start with dough balls or red worms? We're trying Prussian, so that's technically red worms. All right. Just kind of that general area close to there should be good yeah 2.7 meters down all right just out of curiosity if I go common and then perch potentially just to the left of that um, all right, let's see how far can we cast pretty far. Let's see if we get anything, any bites here. I actually think I'm going to start off with just some, uh, straight, slow approach. Hmm. And we'll try stop and go. Ooh, I did see a what looked like a perch jump out of the water over there. Maybe we go cast at that. Um, Kind of mess with me. All right, first fish is what? Oh yeah, once again, it's that leader that wants to break, isn't it? All right, this is... <sighs> nice tinch. I love it. Not something we can trophy here, but that's pretty cool. Nice healthy tinch. If that's the bycatch here, We're okay with that. All right, let's try this again. I think I might try twitching this time.
Yeah, I'm just realizing if we can't catch it on this lure, then there's not a whole lot else we can do here with this setup, right? Might have been better off bringing the float and just trying to catch it on red worms. Ooh, I don't know. Kind of looked like that might have been something. Do they sell lures here? A slop spoon. It's even smaller. It does make me wonder. Does it make you wonder? Is five grams too light for us to cast? Nope, because that's how much this one is. All right. We'll see how far we can cast this. Not very far. Actually with these, we might should do straight retrieval. So those slop spoons, we'd be able to cast them farther, but they are a little smaller. Maybe they will attract a perch a little better. Let me see um, if the Uber sheet says anything about time of day on perch. It might be that it's too early for them. I don't know. This is something tiny. Could this be a roach? It is a roach. Hey. I'll take it. Yeah, let's just see here. So what time is it right now? 5.30. Um, okay, so for the European perch, it actually doesn't indicate time of day at all. It doesn't indicate time of day at all. Oh, there's also pike here. Uh, I have a feeling if we had, if we had float, we could, um, Try to get them on red worms. We'll try slow, straight retrieval.
just to the left of us, the visual representation of a perch. See that? All right, well, that was right in front of us. Probably was a perch. Okay. That was only our second, oh no, third fish. All right. Level seven. All right, we wanna look at all this. So we got the chum chest, nano spinner. Oh, the four gram variety, it looks like. Narrow spoon, I feel like that was one of the options. Uh, for perch, not that we need it anymore. We got it. A new mono leader that's always helpful. That is always helpful. So, you know, this is what I was talking about like not coming and going too often, but we almost want to be fishing with two. I think two feeder rods I and mean, we could try some float fishing here, but I, I really dislike having to hold the feeder rod, but I mean, it does work. Um, not that it's wasting time, but it feels like it's kind of wasting time to have this spinner here right now. So we need to just be able to focus these or try to. Okay. So we definitely spent more than we made on the fishing because of travel and the license cost. Uh, ooh, we'll take that very very timely bonus there um, okay so let's see here we have a second to do our little dance where we see what new things are available and this is the big one we're not going to spend money on it right now because frankly there aren't that many ground baits that we've unlocked yet just the one, so we're not really worried about that yet, but that will allow us to take more components, specifically if we're doing a lot of feeder fishing, right? Okay. Um, so, new, ooh, man, look at that. That is a nice ride. I mean, it's a little pricey, for this level but look at the you can do lures from 0.5 to 7 grams and it goes up to four kilo line weight i really like that now we do have the casting rod option but we're not into that right now so we just unlocked a second feeder rod um The line weight is very, very slightly. I actually think I'd rather have two of the same in some ways. I don't know. So that would cost 2000. It would be a lot of our silver 
Although we probably wouldn't have to. So this is what I'm trying to figure out. Do we want to float fish or do we want to? We definitely don't want to do that. We could do that though. What else do we have here? Do we unlock new baits? Oh yeah, small cut bait and small minnows. Really exciting. So we could fish for, could have fished for perch on the small minnows, but really exciting to unlock those baits, I think. But let's get a few more red worms. We are getting low on red worms. Uh, any new, all right, so we have casting reel options now we ever want to actually try to play with around casting reels any new spinning reels though yeah it looks like these two so we're up to 2.9 max drag not bad I mean we're getting there we are getting there but what we really need is the uh, leader so the best leader we have is 1.85 and the one we're currently using is 1.2 so that would be that would be a lot better and they're so cheap right yeah all right okay so that's a little better so we're gonna try to float fish a little bit is that what I'm saying I think so I don't, I'm going to try not to buy a second feeder rod. Oh, forget how long it is. We're level seven now and it's not till we'll end up buying a second feeder rod before that. I can guarantee you. So the question is, is there anything that's worth holding out for? five levels if we wait till 12 in some ways it's like okay maybe we should wait till 14. i think we just probably end up getting a second one but we don't have to make that decision right now because i really well yeah because i really am okay playing around with float fishing so let's just go back let's make sure there's no other baits we want to try right like pearl barley do we want to try pearl barley um i think i've done pretty well with bread with honey in the past and that is really cheap can we keep that in our backpack yeah that is a very cheap bait pearl barley is pretty cheap as well okay i think that's good we have some options we still have different hook sizes I think we definitely want to make sure we have an eight on this one and we can keep using four on this one. Okay. Let's go. So we're just paying 120 to travel back. Not hard to make 120 back since we don't have to pay for, um, we could have, we could have gone to Texas for free and gotten our marker back, but I didn't remember. We'll remember one of these days uh okay It might be worth going at least an hour. Um, I don't understand why it just doesn't look to me like it's in the right place. All right, maybe that one's better.
Anybody else remember, figured out what I did wrong here? I brought Telefloat instead of the match rod, which means we can't cast very far. We do okay though. All right, eight hook, red worm. So we're looking for a silver bream and a Prussian carp. It's funny, I was worried about catching perch of all things. Um, Semolina. We don't have Semolina yet. Red worms. It's really the only thing. It's our best chance with the silvers. We know how deep it is. Maybe we don't know depth. I mean, I don't know. All right, this could be a Prussian carp. Yeah. All right. It's not the trophy, but that's okay. We got one. Okay, so let's think about, uh, let's think about Silver Bream really quick. Looks like deep part right in front of that. All right, hold on. Let's try something here. Um, delete that. Deep part, or actually not even the deep part, like right here. Nope. Right to the right, all in this area. Which I think um, I don't want to let me. Okay, there we go. It's because I'm doing it wrong, that's why. All right, so we want to go to this one straight across, right? Oh, uh, incorrect. Let's just hoof it down there. Uh, what's the other thing we need? Oh, that's it. Silver Bream's it. Okay. Well, this should be close enough to this spot that we can actually, I think, fish on both our feeder and our float for the same thing. This is where I do kind of wish we'd purchased the size 10 hooks, but we never have. It's fine. The smaller hooks might just do a little better. Wait. What is this? Oh, this is our float. Something is wrong. Size four hook, eight hook, red worm. Right there. So how deep is that? 1.6 meters. Um, so let's go 1.5. And we'll just go straight, but as far as we can from here. Okay. 
I think we got a reasonable chance. Is there a time of day thing? That's one thing I didn't check. I don't think there was any information about it, but regular bream are night fish. Now in this, our silver bream, I just don't know. It looks like they're more common at daytime, at least according to this bite map. But that's probably because people, they're mostly bycatch, I'm guessing. Okay, so that's just like laying on its side. That's too shallow. Uh, let's go down to, it looked way too shallow, didn't it? Let's go to one meter. It's so weird that it does that. Is that better? Negatory. How about 75? Okay. I think I just tricked it into working again. Look at that. Wow. Uh, it's not cast out. Oh, no, it's still bugged, isn't it? Dang it. Um, oof, this is brutal because the game thinks it's cast out. All right, so I think what we have to do is this. Wait, the fish is gone. Oh, uh, we had a fish that was about to... I think we actually have to travel, maybe? Yeah, that worked. Hopefully. So we were getting a bite, it would have happened soon. All right, so we wanted to try 50 centimeter depth. Oh, it's still not working, is it? which means we're not gonna be able to catch a fish on it. Oh, this is awful. We're gonna have to spin that 120 um, and actually leave this place to try to get our equipment working again. What'd we just catch? Okay, how much have we made so far? 60 plus 20 is 80. We haven't quite made our travel fee, but we're also not able to fish with both things. It's very, very frustrating. Okay. Let's make sure that, um, just let me do a quick search here. Let's just see if there's like a, um, uh, oh wait, I don't want that. So, I just don't know. There, there's no clear 
Okay. Does this look correct? By the way, did we ever save our um yeah. Feeder preset. There we go. Uh let's see here. So red worms bred with honey size 10 hooks is what I'm seeing. Can we get 10? Oh yeah, there we go. We can't get barbless yet, correct? Barbless, I think give you more XP. We have more room in our, than I realized in our backpack. Okay, so can you look up um, like if somebody, if, if you find, what I'm trying to figure out is if you find coordinates in this game, is there a way to look them up on the map? Oh, I think if you, yes, I think if you scroll on the map, yeah, there's a way to do it. Sorry, it's just, it's been a long time. It's been a while. All right, so we're going 10 size hook. I think red worm and or we could try bread with honey. All right. So like for example, someone suggested 5614 Um, okay, so let's just see where that is. 5614. These are very small fish, by the way. All we need left is silver bream. Oh, again, defaults on this stuff would be so nice. Uh, so we want to go till, let's go to nine. Now nah, let's go to eight. All right, 56, 14, where is that? So if we do this, what's too bad is that we can't just, all right, so 56, 14. I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh wait, do we have another one to remove? Yeah. We'll try this 5614 for now. So it's right down here. This is, wait. It might be a little closer. I can't tell. Is it like, might be slightly closer to here. No, it's probably not. We're definitely not gonna be able to get there with our, um, with our float, obviously. That is way out there, isn't it? That's 3.1 meters. So that's probably one of the darker, uh, deeper places. Maybe that's, maybe that's kind of the trick. We'll just cast this as far as we can. seems a little big 
for a silver bream, right? I think. Oh no, that is a silver bream. Wow, first fish, huh? Well, that's, that spot worked. Okay. What did that give us? Oh yeah. Nice, very nice. Did that go in my backpack? Yes, it did. 3.15 liter, which means we could get the bigger, but we could turn this feeder setup into a much nicer feeder setup. I bet it's a while before we unlock this in the store. I could be wrong, but I bet it is. Okay, oh no. Okay, so it's actually, it's actually user error somehow. Oh, there we go. It's because I had the drag off completely. That's so embarrassing. Let's don't think about it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Interesting. I mean, why would you, you just, would you expect that? A um, mini bass jig for finishing this at the European map. All right, we can mess around with it a little bit. Um, all right, so let's see what we can do before leaving. <laughs> We're gonna have to leave for some of this probably. So it has common carp, huh? Um, red worms. Huh, si oh no, that's common roach, sorry. Common carp, here we go. So number one hook, we actually could do two hook. That's probably, oh, we don't want to do it on this one. We definitely want to do this on this. Okay, so two hook. And what are we most likely to catch on it? Red worms, bread with honey, or dough balls. How do we think dough balls are going to do? Okay. Do we go ahead and use one of these leaders? Now these are not, these common carp are not gonna be too big. I think, I think we can get it in like this. Okay, 50, 40. So let's do the same thing we did last time. Let's go ahead and delete that one. And let's go to 50, Oh, wow, 40. Okay, where is this? Right down there, okay. Okay, common carp. We gotta catch common carp, mirror carp. So we've already caught one tench. I wanna say that the tench might be even like more active at night. I could be wrong though. Okay. Nice deep spot it looks like. 3.1 again. Okay, so what about mirror carp? What are mirror carp preferring? Red worms, it's really the same thing. Same thing and not exactly the same spot though. It does recommend a different spot for the mirrors. Uh, we'll see. Northern pike casting spoon, that is what we have, but small minnows is gonna probably be the way to do it, we'll see. Tinch, red worms. Anywhere from eight to a one hook. And a recommended spot is 54, 44. 
that's going to be very close to here, right? Yeah, so it's even closer. I guess my question is, oh, we have a fish on, cool. Wait, do we have a fish on? Yeah. But with tench, we want red worms bred with honey or crawfish. What is that, a silver bream again? Can't stop catching them now. Um, also, the thing to remember is red worms will catch like literally all of these fish that we're talking about right now. Just rotate spots. Wasn't that 5444? This one? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't let you write anything. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Tinch. And then. How could it possibly take that long to? All right, and this one was common carp. And the final one, mirror carp, was 4810. 48, oops. Yes, that's getting close, but that's not exactly it. Oh, man, we just landed on it. All right, and this was mirror carp. Okay. So clearly that's like on the other side. I don't know where we are. Maybe we're here, we go there. Um. See, so if we if we had brought our oh wow if we had brought our um, our match rod like we'd be in business I mean we could just both float and bottom fish but we did not So we're hoping we can maybe get lucky on the um, common and mirror carp here. I'm not as worried about the tench. I think I just, I have this vague memory of fishing for tench here at night. Is tench one of the fish we can trophy here? No. And this other guy, the original one that I'm using, says eight to one hook, red worms, blood worms, night crawlers, crawfish, leeches, uh, and has no information about time or anything. I guess I'm wrong though. It looks like it looks like it's daytime on the tench. Ooh, a little Prussian carp. That's cool. Red 
red with honey is the other bait that all three of these fish have in common. All right, so it looks like I'm just doing a little bit of, it looks like I'm right. People are fishing for tench with night crawlers. It's either at night or when it appears to be night. So I was not remembering wrong, I don't think. Oh, all right, what do we do here? Oh, we already got it on. Okay, maybe we can get it in real quick, perfect. Another silver? No, roach. I'll take it. New record roach. Love it. So night crawlers, it looks like, is their, is their favorite bait. All right, what is this? Another Prussian carp. Hey, at least we're making some money right now. We needed this. All right, so I'm gonna do bread with honey this time. And then I think the other bait to maybe try is uh, dough balls. I gotta change that, y'all. Really, I've got to change that. At least we're getting XP, getting silver. The other thing that would be fun is to try to, and again, this just gets easier as we get gear and as we get access to better baits, but it would be fun to try to settle in on some like strategies to hit as high a percentage as we can of trophies. You know, like if we sit and fish for a certain species for 30 minutes, like hopefully we see a trophy or two. Um, we don't have to get totally fixated on these explorer missions and stuff, but it is kind of a fun way to catch the different species and at least get an introduction to each map, I think. So night crawlers, huh? Night crawlers at night. Yeah, it's like just after midnight when he's doing this. Old video, but it does appear that uh, nighttime is a thing. I really like this map though. I mean, it's a low level map, so it maybe doesn't offer um, the most lucrative opportunity, I guess. But, ooh, I just hit that at the wrong time. Okay, <laughs> here we go. It's a nice silver bream. Silver bream, not worth as much silver as you want them to be, but. Not a whole lot of options here in terms of where we float fish. We're just sort of focused on these feeder spots and again, probably where it might be worth at least thinking about getting that second feeder set up. We're not going to, we're not going to regret it.
I did not realize. Okay, so I'm just sitting here looking at a fishing planet wiki and it listed the European weather fish as a fish that you can catch on this map. But as I'm digging a little deeper into it, I didn't recognize it. And I'm and it says that it's only available through the fisherman version of Fishing Planet, which you may or may, may not remember. I remember when it came out, there was something like companies, there was a the game changed hands or something happened. Anyway, the fisherman was a purchasable version of Fishing Planet that instead of free, being free to play, you just bought it. And so it had a lot friendlier progression and like the travel costs and everything just weren't as, as punitive, if, if I remember correctly. Um, so it was very divisive when it came out. The problem was it had no support. So pretty big Prussian cart. Uh, so as the regular version of Fishing Planet continued to get more and more maps and everything, obviously the, the paid version of the game did not continue to grow like that. All right, so let's try dough balls in that same spot. Anyway. I have that game on my main Steam account. Um... But it just, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's, I think it's been years and years and years since it actually had an update. We'll see if we do catch anything this close to the shore on bread with honey. While we're waiting on the next fish on our feeder. Which we have gone way over. So we'll just fish a little bit longer. And then for the next episode... I'll have to make the decision like, okay, do we want to keep working on, I mean, this does, this doesn't seem like an impossible task to get, you know, to get these fish. Um, we probably just want to come with two feeders, at least the match rod, but probably two feeders. All right. So what is this we call, is that a roach um, on the dough balls? Interesting. I kind of want to go. No, I don't know why. I just, bread with honey. I think it's bread with honey. Okay, so I think on this map, you can technically trophy the roach and the Prussian carp. And if we use size 10 hook and either red worms or pearl barley, good chance, probably red worms is the way to go. But anyway, good chance to find that common roach trophy. At least possible and then still red worms or other baits but a larger hook for the Prussian carp this one said common roach trophy early in the day most likely is the best time floor uh, let's see four to one hook size oat flates maggots wax worms dough balls or pinky so it doesn't even say red worms and then trof trophy prussian carpet does say maggots or red worms again four to one knot hook hmm. So next time we'll be a little better prepared with either the match rod or I think we'll end up getting a second feeder.
next time. Especially since like things like the pike, we could catch on a feeder with those minnows. Um, both of the larger carp, common and mirror, that we're trying to catch for this quest, if we stick stick with this. Um, if we have two feeders out, we just stand them twice as good a chance. So It's too bad we don't have access to some of the higher level. I, I'm just guessing that like, you know, peas, some of those baits, if we had that, Uh, would cancel out some of the other fish and would focus more on what we're wanting to catch here. It's just another very small fish, right? And another Prussian carp, 35 silver. I mean, they add up 228. At least we are making, making a little money now. Um, Peas and corn, huh? If we just had peas and corn. Although it might be a slow bite rate for all I know. Uh, let's try something really quick. Just where we are now. Wait. Yeah, this is. Oh, wait. So confused. Tinch. Common carp, mirror carp. How do we get, it's interesting. This is like so much closer over here, isn't it? We could almost float fish. Okay. I was trying to get us closer to that mirror carp, uh, the mirror carp one. So I guess that's gonna be here and then run to it. So this is mirror carp. And it was, but it was pretty much the same baits. The only nice thing about this is that I just wondered with like this stuff in the water and everything, it might be a little better on float fishing over here. Could totally be wrong though. Let's try to catch at least one more fish. Maybe we'll get lucky on, on the mirror carp over here. See what this does. And I guess it's because, I mean, there's so many differences, right? In RF4 versus fishing plant, but coming from RF4, the idea that we can't just have three feeder rods out as soon as we can afford three feeder rods is a little hard. Obviously, eventually you get high enough level, like it's it's not a long-term concern, but for right now it's, it's difficult. Uh, but the market is just totally different in this game. For example, it's not hard to afford equipment in this game for the most part. From what I've seen, and I'm not an expert, um, what what is more taxing is the travel cost and license fees, where in RF4 that doesn't come into play at all. I mean, not that you don't have to pay travel cost or like rent a boat or whatever you do, but it's so minimal compared to the, what you're making off of the fishing. However, the grind to purchase nice gear in RF4 is so much more extensive than 
than FP. So it's just interesting. Very, there are some stark differences in the game. Um, I do think overall, and I think most people agree with this, although I'm connected to the RF4 community. So maybe, maybe people in this fishing planet community might not agree with this, but I think, I think it's a reasonable statement to make that fishing planet is just a little, is more on the arcade scale or towards arcade on the scale, I should say, um, where Russian RF4, Russian fishing four feels a little bit more like, uh, on that same scale, it's in the direction of simulation a little bit. Well, I think we did it. I, I don't know if this is going to be a mirror or a common, but I just think it's too big, even with our small leader. Yeah, it looks like a mirror, right? Yeah. So, so that spot did work. And it's good money. Almost $100 for just the one young mirror carp. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I guess let's just see if we can duplicate that. That was so quick. What time of day is it? 945. I think we've been getting bites on this and I don't know. I could be wrong, but it looked like the float had moved a little bit. So bread with honey ended up catching the mirror carp. And again, if the bite rate's pretty nice on those, that was some nice money. So pretty quick, you could you could justify like, okay, yeah, let's just get a second feeder rod and let's farm these carp spots a little bit if the bite rate is reasonable, but we'll see. I'm also wondering, Tinch might be the, you know, if you look up videos about this place, a lot of the old ones, a lot of times what you see are people doing the Tinch at night. So maybe that's silver wise a good investment. I don't know but I think it's a lot better when you've unlocked some of the additional baits. It seems though, I mean, granted it could be a depth issue where we're fishing all kinds of things, but it does seem like most of the fish here are fish you're catching off the bottom. So unless you've got a float setup, that's a match setup where you can, cast a little farther and then figure out exactly what depth you want to have it at. Um, the bite rate is just really slow on float in my limited experience using a complete beginner telescopic rod. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's the way to go. All right, so what depth are we at right now? We go to 85 and then full cast it out. Does it flat? Oh, that actually works. Okay. So yeah, I mean, if we were going to be here a while, the probably the thing to do would be to keep going deeper until you found where that depth is, or you could use a feeder rod, right? We just cast our feeder rod in that exact same spot and it would, it, it sinks and it tells you how far it sinks. All right, here's another fish. Let's see what we got on bread with honey this time. I think it's going to be another another mirror, but let's see. I just turned our drag all the way up. Let's see if we can just force this young mirror carp in, if that's what it is. I don't know what it is, but we've, we're definitely forcing it in. This might be a smaller fish. Yeah, this doesn't look like a mirror carp at all, does it? Ooh, what's that? <gasps> we just caught a common carp. So it's only worth half of what the mirror was. All right, let's see here. Oh man, we've got all these fish. All right, that's cool. All right, okay, hold on. Let's see here. I think we have a fish on, by the way. <laughs> so we got it a little further out and we at least did catch a fish. Oh, another perch, wouldn't you know it. Okay. Let us look in our fish keeper. Okay, so what, what did we want to see? Prussian carp, 27. So really nothing. And we don't still have that tinch, unfortunately. Everything is just worth not a whole lot until you get to the, I guess, the larger size Prussian carp. These are almost half a kilo. 
So you can farm those. That's pretty good if you find a good bite rate. Uh, but the common carp and then the mirror carp. That might be where it's at. So where are we on this mission? Next time we go tench. Okay. Let's, let's don't say next time. Let's just do it really quick. 54, 44. We've already got the spot marked, right? Which it's on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. Oops. Yep. Here we go. Because we can scoot, we can scoot, uh, skip time real quick. And so we want to be right here, correct? Uh, yes. All right, so what do we say on Tench? Red worms. I think big hook, red worms at night. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. So is it the left or right from here? It's a closer one. Okay. We want to go to night. I don't know how, le how late into the night. I'm just going to try this. We're just going to try this. Closer one. Um, we're going red worm and we're going as big a hook as we can. It would be it's just be nice if we catch one tench just to be able to do the comparison of the how much it's worth let's go four i know we can't get it anywhere near it's also not gonna it's gonna be too shallow isn't it From experience, I think I know that 50 might even be too shallow here, but we're going to try it. It's close. I mean, we do want it to be on bottom, so but we just, I would love to not see that uh, slant in it, or at least a little less slant in it. We don't have a flashlight. I was just checking. <laughs> All right, we won't wait long here. We'll just give it a couple minutes. One thing that's possible is it's still too early in the night. I don't know with Tench if you want to go to when the fishing is best or if you want to go uh, to a certain time, like midnight or something. But I mean, we're a tench and a pike away from finishing this exploration mission, which is so cool.
some hearts. Sorry about that. I think we're good. It's just trying to find some more information about um, about time. Are they about to? This person might be about to fish for them first thing in the morning, but let's see. They are using red worms. It does look like even though they're a high level player, they were showing reasonable stuff that a lower level player might have. I mean, we already caught attention when we first got here. Oh, interesting. They're a console player too. That's cool. Um, we caught attention when we first got here, but it was before this second quest was active, right? It looks like he's just going right from spawn. Actually, towards that spot. Yeah, that's where we were fishing. I think that's where we caught it. No, he went past it. What was that first spot? Oh, yeah, we found that spot where we were trying to catch the silver bream. Yeah, he's going all the way down, it looks like. <coughs> Just past some lilies in the water or something. Okay, that might be that might be a place to try at some point. Okay, let's see what we call it here. It's night times, red worms, could be a tinch. I don't know what else is active. Maybe everything is. Oh, it looks like roach are active. No perch, of course. The return of the perch. Uh, okay, so just um, fifty-two, fifty-two. Okay, let's. See where is fifty two? Oops. Oh, it's minus fifty two. Yeah, so he's casting from, all right, so from like this spot here. Um, I'm actually not sure. Are we even on the right side of the, yeah, it's just a long way, that's fine. Let's just go check it out really quick. Because the other question is, where is he casting to, right? All right, so I think he's casting from. Actually, I might be wrong. We might have already passed it. Where are we right here? Oh, yeah. No, I was not wrong. Yeah, somewhere right in here. And then let me see. All right, 49, 40, 49, 41, 49, 41. Okay, so there it is. And isn't he kind of casting back left? Yeah, is that like just a little bit of an angle like this? Okay. It's almost close enough we can float fish. Um, let's go smaller hook. 
I, I think we might be overdoing it with the really big hook. We definitely want like bite rate, right? So from this spot, can we, we can't quite get there. So yeah, now if, if we catch a fish and recast, we just need to see the actual depth of this spot. So now we have two tent spots, you know, if we don't get it real quick here, at least next time we'll have a couple of different spots we can try different times of day. Uh, I think we can easily catch this, you know, first thing in the morning. It looks like based on what I'm seeing from other other folks. But this ended up being a really good session. We ended up just kind of finally got some into a groove and caught some good fish out here. Ooh, come on now. Doing it on float. A nice perch all right all right last fish of the day oh <laughs> if this is a tent should be nice with that weight on it it's not a tench though is it another perch or a prussian yeah it's a trophy prussian cart i mean we'll definitely take that look we just hit another level 86 so trophy Prussian at the tent spot. How cool is that? Four and one, love to see that. Crucian Hunter, hopefully this means we can purchase that with, with actual uh, in-game currency now. A new fish hut, a new cam uh, camper thing. Nighttime spoons, some new leaders. This might be the, let's see, 0 0.16. We'll check that in just a second. And 0.12. I bet this 0.16, if I had to guess, is for uh, premium but money, but we'll see. 0 0.16. Yep. All right, let's see how we did. We are leaving. There we go. Finally got into some money here. 550. Plus what we made on the, the other short trip. But still, like that was that was nice. That was very nice. And we did unlock Emerald Lake, which yes, is a place that you can for farm some pretty good money, but uh, I'm enjoying what we're doing now. I'm enjoying the pace we're going. This has been good so far. So we just need pike and tench. That'll be fun to try to figure out next time. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. We went a little long this time, but uh, so be it. Tight lines, everybody. I'll see you next time.